introduction, I want to thank you for this cute little lock. It's a little Eva half cylinder. It looks like a snapper, but actually it was designed this way. So one way lock, so on the other side of the door there's nothing. Uh, it's got kind of a challenging looking keyway if we can get it to focus here. There we go. Pretty tight inside of there. So let's see if we can't uh, hook this thing up and try it. I'll show you what the key looks like. I'm going to put this uh, in the vise. I know full well that the activator will, or will get caught up in the vise, but at least we'll be able to pick it, hopefully. Uh, there's what the key looks like. So we have a really challenging key on almost all of these EVA locks. This one's no exception. Six pinner. So when we pick it, it will only turn a little bit, but we'll know clearly that it's been picked and I'll pull it out and show it to you. Won't be able to gut it because I don't know how to do it. And I, well, I probably could do it, but then I couldn't get it back together. All right, let's see if we can pick Duction's lock. See if we can get the tension wrench in there first. Pretty tight fit. I think that's going to work. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, because it's tight, I'm just going to start at the front, I guess. See if I can find anything binding. Okay, if it feels like pin two, I got to click out of. Pin three, not so much. Okay, it was pin five. A lot of precision in these EVAs. Your pin placement, there's no slop, so the pins must be squared off very precisely on their tips. So you can't just get it close with these. You have to be right on the money in order for it to get to the shear line. And of course that's going to take a pretty light touch on the tension wrench. Okay, that was pin six, I believe, yeah. I can drop the pin or two. Felt like pin two got dropped, pin one got dropped. Okay, I set pin one again. Everyone else seems springy. Okay, that was definite set on pin three that time. And pin two just gave me a little crunch. Got a pretty good fault set now, so we have at least two security pins in this thing. I'm on pin four and I'm getting a little feedback, so there would be an indication of third security pin. Even the fault sets are not very much. And there we go, open. These are tough little locks. This, this one in particular, the pin placement, there's no screwing around on that. Let's see, it's open. You got to be very, very precise in the pin placement and keep your tension pretty light on these. If you over torque it, 
uh, that'll all bind up. Again, because of the precision in manufacturing, these are just, these EVAs are just super locks. A lot of fun to pick. You'll enjoy it, and it will test your patience, if nothing else. Anyway, thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe, and for goodness sake, stay legal. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot there's one more thing. Um, I know there's this rule that what happens on a road stays on a road. I know you guys do a lot of these lock sport activities and go to conferences and security things. But my advice to you is don't give them, when you meet people, you don't give them your real name. And for God's sake, don't give them, don't give them my name because then they're going to be calling me. Like this lady on this next video, you know, she's looking for Dicey, she's looking for Jim. And guys, I got to tell you, I covered for you this time, but if this kind of thing keeps up, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give her your addresses, I'm going to give her your phone numbers, and she's going to find you, and I don't think that's what you want. Anyway, talk to you later. And by the way, April Fool's, guys. Dicey. <laughs> Dicey. 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 I finally found you. Oh, yeah. Remember me from that lock picking contest? Oh, yeah. And that threesome we had with your friend, Jim. Yeah, you called it the devil's triangle. Oh, oh how could I ever forget? Oh, I'll tell you how I could never forget. I had your kid! That's right. A little Dicey wants to meet his dad. So now that I have found you, we'll be by for a visit very soon. And if you're lucky, I might just let you have the booty one last time. Maybe. Just maybe.